Good morning, everyone. This is Disha Ditta Tripathi. Uh, here present here as the representative of my team, Equinox, uh, who is here to present you a topic that is based on the incentive-based design for an onboarding legal service provider such as advocates, arbitrators, mediators, notaries, document writer, etc. on e marketplace for extending legal services to citizens in India. My team includes Satsiman, Suraj, Dhanyavad, Shomesh, and Noor. And I'm here to explain about the problem statement of our project. In India, the legal service sector is largely unorganized, making it difficult for the people to access legal services. The fragmented nature of the legal services provided in India, including advocates, arbitrators, mediators, notaries, document writers without a centralized platform, results in issues like limited transparency, challenges in finding suitable providers, and elevated costs for clients. Hello teams, uh, I am Saktiman. The objective of our project of this hackathon is to develop an incentivized digital to onboard legal service provider on an e-marketplace to extend legal service to all citizens in India. Basically, uh, in through this project, we can, uh, we can spread our participants are expected to be designed a platform that can be onboard legal service providers or on a, on a, on a e-marketplace and incentivize them to offer their service to clients the, the platform should be user friendly and secure transparent and and should be address their following ch ch challenges so basically incentive legal based service platform we have to make this is our first priority so incentive based platform that um, helps us to provide both client and service provider both engaging with our platform Second part, second part is transparency and accountability sustainability in service provider by legal service providers. That means we have to do that, uh, we have to maintain the transparency system so that uh, both users and uh, service providers, they can have a both uh, uh, good understanding, good relationship so that everyone can know the part the track record and what the actual um, behind the system which Going so that everyone can know about it. The third third part is the quality of legal service providers. We have to assure that our platform is the best for quality assuring so that we are and we are managing a lot so that we are arranging a lot of service pro legal service providers in our platform by uh, that can be by location by uh, yes so third part third part is our quality so we are assuring that quality should be most in priority. So that quality for quality purpose, we are arranging a lots of service pro and legal service providers in our platform so that um, they can filter it out. Another way, clients can easily find the right legal service providers in our platform. For this purpose, we are we are arranging some features like uh, locations, and like uh, experience, like uh, how much success rate of that legal service provider these are the some basic features another one is platform accessible for citizen for all socio-economic backgrounds so so that uh, as in india the economical friendly uh, uh, website have to maintain so that we are um, uh, featuring this uh, option so that everyone can access in our so that's all sandra and there are some key features in our system which would i, I would like to explain so the first is our system is a multilingual system which will support 22 regional languages in India because India is a diverse country and has many languages so we need to make it multilingual in order to make people provide our services very easily then the second one is it will be an incentive based system which will provide incentives to both the clients and the legal service providers which will motivate them to use our app or our platform more often which will be very beneficial for them also. So there will be a gamification technique used in our system, which will be used for legal awareness among people because India is a very big country and many people don't know about our legal system and their even their legal rights. So we'll be using games like quizzes and stuff to make them aware of our legal system and educate them our legal system with in a fun way. And we'll be also giving them rewards for this type of gamification which will they can use in the future. So this is basically a system which will track your case. So basically when a person 
hires a legal service provider, so there is a process going on, and our system will track that process. Like, if you are hiring a lawyer, then it will record all the hearing dates and all the updates on the case, and that is one of our showstoppers. The fourth point is the payment gateway system. We'll integrate a payment gateway system, which will help the legal service seeker to pay his or her provider very easily through our app. It will be very safe and transparent, so that the trust of the user with our app remains sustainable. We'll integrate a recommendation system which will recommend the most likely people to your feed. Like if you need a lawyer and what type of lawyer you need, the machine learning algorithm will just detect it and suggest you the same type of people in your feed, which will help you to minimize your time to while finding a, le a right legal service provider. So the next point is the filtration system that we'll be using. The filtration system is something that will help the people filter legal service provider by their choice. This can be on the basis of location, language, categories like fees, their experience or the type of help they need like in criminal law or in civil law, etc. So our app will be integrated with a storage abidance system which will store all the legal documents required in the time of a case ongoing which will save both of the parties time if they will be doing the same in the offline mode as all the documents will be saved inside our app so they can both access the all the documents very easy. Like all the e-market system, we also have a history tracker which will track all the history or all the bookings booked by the client. Like every lawyer, every notary or every arbitrator he has booked and why he has booked them, it will all be recorded in our app. Our app is very scalable and there are several things which can make the app even more scalable. So the things are the VOIP system which is also known as the voice over internet protocol system which will help the user to contact with the service provider through our app without any problem. The second one is the assistive AI chatbot which will assist the user throughout our app and so that he can discover our app more easy and about the transparency of the system to provide the legal provides the legal assist and to ensure the transparency and the quality of the service will be verifying the identity and all the details of the legal service providers and will also show it to the people or the legal service seekers in order to maintain our quality and to make our system more transparent to people for our application this is Prospect application for content we use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Delivered CSS, ReactJS, or React Native for cross, cross platform application, both web and application. For backend, we use Node.js, Redis, API, JWT, Stripe. Stripe is for payment gateway. Or JWT for authentication to card, Node.js is server side backend. Or for Redis, it use save the cache memory or another thing storing the all the things in a database so on database we use PostgreSQL because of it's very scalable and it's using it, it is SQL based so these were the solutions to the various problems that are going in today's world and by our application we are help, uh, hoping to overcome those solutions and finding the various aspect of it with this I would like to conclude our project Thank you.